Hi folks, this is Shafiq. Today we are going to talk about the face detection with Google Powered Media Pipe Library. But before we begin, please like the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Please also mention your ideas for existing and expected videos in comments. We are going to import the Media Pipe Library first. If you haven't installed the library yet, then the library is available at Python package index and you are able to install the package with pip install made the pipe command. I'm currently using this version in the study. It's called pip install made the pipe command to install the package. This study also requires to import OpenCV as well because we are going to read images with OpenCV and let's import the image OpenCV.imRead and here we are going to pass the name of our input image let's uh, finally import the matplotlib uh, library to plot images plt.imshow and here we can pass the input image as input this plots the image in the uh, blue colors because OpenCV reads an image with the inverse direction of the red green and blue we can handle this just like that face detection module of media pipe is available under media pipe dot solutions dot face detection and let's assign this to metapipe face detection then we are going to initialize the face detection module as metapipe face detection dot face detection and let's set minimum detection confidence to for example 60 percent this is going to be our face detector as seen in this information message, Media Pipe uses TensorFlow Lite in the background. And if you are going to import TensorFlow first, then Media Pipe causes troubles. Once our face detector is built, then we are going to call face detector dot process and pass image as input. And this is going to be our results. Here, let's see results dot detections this returns the python list that's why i'm going to build a for loop for face in results dot detections and let's check face dot score is greater than a threshold value for example 80 percent if this condition is satisfied then let's get the x and y values face dot location data and get relative bonding box and this is going to be bonding box then get bonding boxes x min value and this is going to be the x get y min value also i'm going to get wet and height values bonding box dot wet and height is going to be bonding box dot height as seen x and y coordinates are normalized in other words they are in scale of 0 and 1 so we have to denormalize them we can do it with multiply the width and height values of the original image get original images uh, first dimension as width and get original images zero index uh, dimension and that's going to be the height value x and w variables are going to be multiplied with the width variable whereas y and h variables are going to be multiplied with the height of the original image and we are going to also cast those to 
do integer let's check is there an error in this block it returns an exception because uh, this is going to be a list we can check it with calling file.score it returns a list and here we are going to get its first index value we got bonding box coordinates of that image let's mention it in the base image we are going to call opencv dot rectangle and pass image as input rectangle function expects point one and point two and in our case the first point is x and y and the second point is x plus w and y plus h then it expects color as input let's assign white which is 255 three times and finally it expects thickness and that's going to be for example two now uh, let's call pt.imshow and original image it mentions the facial area we are able to increase the resolution figure is going to be pt dot figure and as input we are going to set figure size and it's going to be a tuple and let's set it to 15 times 15 and do not forget to call shove finally 16 facial area is mentioned in the original image we are also able to mention the facial landmarks in that image because remember that k points are returned in the response message we are going to get relative k points instead of relative uh, bonding box here we are going to get landmarks relative k points and remember that first one is the right eye let's get the first ones x value and y value to normalize values we multiply uh, x coordinate values to the width that's why i'm going to multiply this to width and multiply this to height also I'm going to cast them to integer and finally right eye is going to be a tuple that's why I'm going to put the term in a parenthesis similarly I'm going to get the left eye what uh, get landmarks one index value and get nose what the to index value then get mouth with the three index value thereafter get right here with the four index value and finally get the left here with the five index value now i'm going to mention those landmarks with opencv dot circle and pass image as input then center is the coordinate and here i'm going to set the right eye then it expects a radius and color radius is going to be for example 15 and color is going to be let's set it to 
zero zero two five five to get red value and finally we are going to set the line type to for example minus one let's copy this circle line for all landmarks uh, by the way this should be left eye nose mouth right ear and finally left ear and let's uh, show the image and as seen all landmarks are mentioned in the base image notice that if you have the coordinates of the eyes of an image then you are able to align it and Detection and alignment are important pre-processing stages of a modern facial recognition pipeline. I'm not going to mention the alignment with uh, eye coordinates, but I have a custom video about it. You are able to find it in the cards of this video. I highly recommend you to watch it. So we have mentioned how to run face detection with Google Pervert made a pipe library in Python. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And your comments are also welcome. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.